thieves in the night. A teenage girl's pink and glitter go-kart was stolen, leading to months of wrangling between the family and the repair shop that lost it. Well, tonight, Target 8 investigator Henry Earp finds out just what we can do when our stuff goes missing. They walk right up and take our go-kart only. They don't look at anything else. You're watching a couple of jerks steal a teenage girl's pink and glitter go-kart off an unprotected repair shop lot. It happened last October. They ignored pricier items parked alongside and just rolled Caitlin Roberts' Christmas present away. Gone cart. Like, I was crying so hard. Like, I loved it. It was my very first go-kart. It was perfect. It went fast. It had brakes. So started a six-month tug-of-war between the Roberts family and the repair shop. Cutlerville Small Engine and Marine. We weren't upset. We weren't angry at the time. We just wanted to be reimbursed. He said he would take care of us, and he never did. They say they agreed to 500 bucks, but that the shop owner failed to deliver on six different occasions. He would tell us to come down to pick up the money, then he wouldn't be there. Um, the people in his shop hadn't seen him all day. Over the months, we've been talking to owner Dan Corson on the phone and set an appointment to talk on camera. But when we got there, he said no. What we were going to meet for? Yeah, not right now. I got attacked by my dog on Friday night. But he did talk to us off camera, and he tells a very different story. He says that he did reimburse the family $500. He says he gave them this money order dated April 4th, but it's made out to cash, no name in the spot marked for recipient. There's no receipt. Corson said he has video of Laurel Roberts picking it up. Twice, he said, he'd send it. We're still waiting. And the Roberts say there is no such video because they never got paid. It's been six months. He promises and promises and never shows, and it's really frustrating. And in fact, it's not the first time Corson told us he'd paid. He called on February 24th and said he'd mailed a money order to us to prove it. The Roberts say he sent them this text the same day saying it was mailed to Wood TV Monday certified mail. We've seen no money order, and Corson admitted to us he never sent it in February. So back and forth it goes, but one of the reasons we're doing this story is it makes us wonder. What happens if we leave something at a repair shop and it disappears? Is the shop legally responsible? In this case, there's a sign on the shop's wall that says the kind of thing you see in a lot of places. We're not responsible if your stuff is lost or stolen. Does it really carry any weight? It may be a little mitigating factor, uh, but it does not absolve them of the responsibility to protect merchandise that has been left in good faith by a consumer with them. In other words, the shop has to take reasonable precautions to protect your property. If the shop is negligent, you might be able to hold it responsible. The example we've heard is if a mechanic leaves your car sitting on the street with the keys in it and someone swipes it, then he's on the hook. In this case, the repair shop left the go-kart outside. No fence. If you want to be an honest business owner, I think it's important for you to take responsibility. The Roberts have bought another go-kart for Caitlin. They'd still really like to know who these thieves are who just walked up and easily pushed their pink go-kart off into the night. I'm Target 8 investigator Henry Herb.